guys, we'll go right to Zoom if you have any questions. Go ahead. Amar. Amar, we can go ahead. Muted. Thank you. You're muted. Whoops. <laughs> hey, Derek, how's it going? Um, how are you? I'm good. Just overall, how would you describe this last week of just being caught up from the cruise and then being able to start a couple of games for the uh, Pistons? Um, what I was saying, obviously, is a blessing. And then overall, just um, I try not to. Well, best way to say it, I just try to be myself. Like that's to follow up the next question. Like with the with everything going on around me, I just try to keep the main thing the main thing. Obviously, it's a great opportunity, but still try to do things the right way, the way, the way I've been doing things my whole life. So, um, just trying to help win games and impact winning any way possible. Go to Rod next. You hey, Walt, what's good? Right. My guy, what's going on? Doing all right. Um, just just being able to step back in and, and having been with the crews for so long, how was that? Was there a change of speed or was there a change of mentality? What's different in that transition from playing with the crews to playing with the pistols? Um, I and honestly, I think I've been playing the same role. So honestly, it's not too much of a difference. Just trying to be a guy that, you know, pick spots, uh, make plays when it's possible, be disruptive on the defense. Uh, just kind of doing anything that I pretty much would be asked to do in my NBA role. Just, just staying within myself and not, and obviously when the moment calls for my uh, calls for it, just do what I do best. In in terms of scoring, I know that first game the the shots were were tough to fall. How did it feel when that first one fell last night? And it, it seemed to give you some confidence that you were the shooting would come, but you were still in that main role of, of distributing and doing what you needed to do as a point guard. Obviously, uh, just. The first one always is a big, like weight off my shoulder, obviously, just because I feel like it was some shots that I usually make that I was missing. But to see the ball going through, obviously, as a basketball player, it's always boosts your confidence. But uh, just to ask your question, it will obviously it gave me a boost of confidence, but still was able to do what I do best, you know, help guys make shots and just, like I said, pick spots when I am allowed to make a play for myself, just do it to the best of my ability. Appreciate it. Be easy. Appreciate you. Keith next. Derek, I know it can't be easy to get dropped into a, a situation like that. And, and I, I think especially for a point guard to, with all the responsibilities that, that comes with that position to get dropped in that. And I'm wondering how your, your experience with, with playing on 10 day contracts before and, and having to kind of get used to um, different situations in a hurry, maybe helped you, you prepare for this and also just your, your experience with the crews and running the same system, how that might be that helped to ease the, ease the uh, challenge for you a little bit. Um, well, I could just say I've, I've played a lot of different roles throughout my career. I've been a, a starter for so long. And then now in my NBA career, I've been a reserve. And then I've been a guy that had to play spot minutes. And then just, I think the best way to describe it is always being able to adjust to anything. That's what life is about being able to adjust. So, uh, it's no different for me, honestly. Just whatever the role calls, I ask what's needed for me and then try to do it to the best of my ability. And we'll go to James. Hey, Derek. Obviously, as, as the guys have mentioned, the group that came in, not many of them had NBA experience. You've played over 50 games. Just when you got up to the big club, did you talk with Dwayne and the coaching staff about just kind of being a steady ship and – Obviously, you're a point guard, but even just having that NBA experience and, and getting everybody else comfortable and everybody else settled. Uh, yeah, of course. That's that's been my MO and every team I've been on. Like, I know the importance of allowing people to be comfortable in what they're good at and trying to like obviously being a person that's been in a role where I have nerves. I try to do that and uh, help guys feel as comfortable as possible. But I think outside of it was no real conversation had between me and Coach Casey. It was just me more so trying to figure out what guys like to do with their uh, strengths and weaknesses are. And then for new guys, just trying to let them know that uh, the moment is not going to be too big. It seems like a lot in the moment, but when you think about it and, and you slow down, it's still basketball. 
and to follow up with that, did any of the your teammates with the crews come to you about just like what to expect since there were very few that really had big minutes, uh, if any, um, at this level? Um, with credit to like guys like Cassius, who's got NBA experience. Yep. Uh, it's, you know, a few of us have some experience, but like the guys that are new, um, I just usually just go up to them and tell them what some that I some of the stuff that I was kind of nervous about. So, yeah, I try to you know. Like I said, just try to help guys as much as possible because uh, we all need each other. Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks, Eric. It's all for that. Appreciate you.